This is Julie. She likes to spend the holidays visiting her uncle George on his farm. She's heard that the entire region where her uncle lives has just been selected by UNESCO as a designated biosphere reserve. Julie isn't too sure about that. What exactly is a UNESCO biosphere reserve? Is it something like an Indian reservation? And will they be putting a fence around it? Then she probably wouldn't be allowed to roam around the woods and fields anymore. And Uncle George might have to get rid of his tractor and use a carriage instead. Uncle George can put his niece's mind at rest. He explains that a biosphere reserve helps humans and the environment to get along better. And it does so without damaging the lovely landscape. It doesn't need fences, just well-balanced interaction between humans and nature. Uncle George has also discovered some advantages for himself, such as opportunities to make his farm even more profitable, and this in ways that benefit nature and the region. For Uncle George, not much has changed, and Julie can continue to explore the woods and fields, but something is different. Julie is curious to find out what. The Biosphere Reserve now offers lots of new activities. Julie and other visitors can explore the area with a ranger or follow adventure trails to learn exciting facts about animals and plants. Of course, the local hotels, restaurants and tradespeople benefit from the visitors, so any doubts among the population are quickly dispelled. Many are seeing the advantages and forming corporations so that they can also participate actively in the development of the Biosphere Reserve. Julie thinks Biosphere Reserves are great and is almost a bit envious of her uncle because he gets to work where other people spend their holidays. And because businesses can develop so well in Biosphere Reserves, she might find a job there herself one day. Why not visit a biosphere reserve near you sometime? There are more of them than you think. <laughs>